We're here today at Hot Wolf Studios when 2014 uh, funding by the council turned the whole space into a stylish new set of studios and we're going to go talk to some of the artists themselves and ask them how it's helped them and their projects. Follow me. This site is a fascinating pass as part of this historic defensive report. Let's see how it's going from wolf to art. The arches themselves are a Grade 1 listed historical monument located in the Point Battery in Barretts. These military defences stand as a part of Portsmouth's naval history. There has been art sales in these arches on Sunday since the early 1950s. This provided an inspiration for this truly unique renovation project into a vibrant new creative quarter alongside a deli style cafe. First interview was with Studio 7's Louise Braithwaite, a talented oil landscape painter with a fun twist. How does it feel to be part of that history? Portsmouth is such an amazing historic place. You get loads of visitors and so many people, you know, have seen the arches before they were transformed. So they come and say, did you realise, you know, so you feel like you're almost part of that organic growth of the city. Everything here has been locally sourced. How do you think that helps the surrounding area? I think that's really important to give a sense of community to the place. Obviously the canteen is really successful. People love it and it creates like a hub so people will come for lunch or dinner and then you know come around the studios to have a look at the art afterwards. Studio One is home to Dave Allen, an abstract artist who used to work for the University of Portsmouth. Hopefully he can answer a few of our questions. How does it feel to be part of that history? For the majority of people here, there is a kind of important difference between what they're doing, which is trying to set themselves up, uh, and the older idea of artists who used to paint uh, probably at home. Oh, yeah, I, love, I love being a part of all of that, yeah. So how important is it that the whole project is locally sourced? I think that Portsmouth does very much better in the arts than a lot of people think it does. There is a great deal of creative practice going on in Portsmouth and always has been. Hot Wall Studios, how do you feel that they help the surrounding community? I think one of the most important for me is the creative community within Portsmouth, which is something I've been involved in for over 50 years. And I think any initiative like this uh, is enormously valuable to that. As you can see, these artists help Hot Walls thrive. They're a testament to the city's creative community, and it really helps the artists themselves.